Hey everybody, Reverse Negative here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the movie Zodiac. Now, Zodiac follows the story of the Zodiac Killer, taking place around the 70s, 80s, late, late 60s, and it goes through most of the timeline of the Zodiac Killer. Now, it's really interesting because it actually is, takes place in a, in a very realistic world, which of course makes sense because the Zodiac Killer was real. And, to be honest, it, it was a really good movie. I enjoyed David Fincher's movies. I enjoyed Fight Club, The Social Network, and I haven't seen Seven yet, but I plan to very soon, and I will get a review for that very soon. Now, let's talk about the movie. First, I'm going to talk about the casting. The casting includes Mark Ruffalo as the main detective. Um... I can't remember the guy who played Robert Gray Smith, but he did a good job. And also has Robert Downey Jr. as Paul Avery. Now, I'm going to say this. All the roles were really good. The roles were amazing. But I'm going to say this. That there was probably not enough Robert Downey Jr. I, when, it, when I heard that this movie was starring him, I thought there was going to be a lot more. He was only in about the first half of the movie or so. And then he'd pop up in like really small scenes later. And that was about it. It mostly followed the main character, Robert Graysmith. And it had a lot of Mark Ruffalo. So that, that was okay, but I think I might have wanted to see a bit more. Well, maybe... It, well, the thing is, I, you get the first impression that you'd want to see a lot more of Robert Downey Jr. as Paul Evening. But when you follow the story, you, you, think, you find out that it actually quite fits. Because when... Robert Graysmith goes back to meet, to talk to Paul Avery later after the whole thing and he hasn't seen him in a while. You can tell that, you know what, this guy isn't that great of a guy. Not the actor, the actor is great, but I mean, the guy in general just, ah, which is good. It, it helps contribute to the story. The story is great. Now, it starts in about 1969 with the first Zodiac killing. And it has the killing and it goes on and the whole mystery idea of the Zodiac language and the mixture of all the different medieval signs and all that mixed in, that was a great storytell. And here's one thing I'm going to say, is the character development and the character arc that they have for Robert Graysmith is amazing. Like, one of the things that I think is, it's like a two and a half hour long movie. The thing is, it feels like it, the movie is forever. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Some movies you can watch it and you just keep checking your watch and you just can never, you just want this movie to be over. This one, I check the time every once in a while and I think, wow, it's only been, it's only been that long? It feels like it's been forever. And the reason it's like that is because there's been so much character development in that short amount of time that it feels like it's been really long. Because a lot of movies take a long time to get that amount of character development. But this one takes a small amount of time to get all that character development to the point when you see Robert Graysmith at the end. He's had such huge development that when you go back and watch the beginning, you can barely believe it's the same person. Because he's changed. He, the core of the character stays the same, but he's gone through a lot of trials. That's one thing I'll also say about David Fincher is character development is amazing in his movies. Social Network, Fight Club, the character arcs are amazing. And the story development is amazing. Now, it gets to about 45 minutes into the movie, and I think that Paul Avery and Robert Graysmith are going to be best buddies. They're sitting there getting each other coffee. They're like, basically partners. Which is quite an interesting concept. Their, their development, their character development and their relationship just builds to such a point where it feels like they're best friends, and it's only been 45 minutes. And the thing is, I know, it sounds like it's only been 45 minutes, but the characters have developed so much and it seems so realistic that you buy it. And I don't blame anyone for buying it. I don't blame myself for buying it because it's realistic and it makes sense. It's just, it's amazing how it worked. It was such a great movie. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend picking this up. It, it's, it was an amazing movie. But one thing I will give it, one thing I will really give it, is the poster... The poster, the main poster for the Zodiac movie is really, really misleading. Like, it's that picture of a bridge and it's really foggy. It's, it's really misleading. It makes it seem like it's going to be some crazy, like, fantasy or sci-fi movie or something. 
and it really isn't. It's a really down-to-earth, street-level, kind of everyday man's movie. It's just about a cartoonist who works at a newspaper who really likes puzzles and he wants to figure out who the Zodiac Killer is. Which is really interesting. It was an amazing concept, and it worked perfectly. That's the one thing, is that it's a little misleading, and I'm not going to mark it down because of the fact that, you know, it's really long. I thought it worked perfectly. And one of the ideas that they had in misleading on who the Zodiac Killer was, and it kind of brought you brought you thinking, oh, maybe he's it, or maybe he's it, or something like that. That was really interesting. It brought you really into the idea of the movie. It's good. I love it when movies actually get you to feel the emotions of the character, and when you can relate to them. It's amazing. I love it. Zodiac was an amazing movie. It wasn't one of the best movies I've seen, but it's, it's a really good movie, and it's definitely up there. I'm going to give Zodiac a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. The character development in this movie was amazing. You could barely tell who the character was at the beginning. Go pick it up.